Hello, today we're doing Eureka Math, Grade 1, Module 1, Lesson 1. Our objectives today are, I can make a 5 to count groups, and I can use a number bond to show my understanding of counting with 5. So we're going to start with our application problem. And uh, it is, Dora found five leaves that blew in through the window. Then she found two more leaves that blew in. You will need to draw a picture and use numbers to show how many leaves Dora found in all. So we're gonna use the redraw right right method. So that means you'll need to read the problem and note the key information You'll draw a math picture and a number bond to solve. You'll write a number sentence and write a sentence to answer the question. So that sentence would be with words. Okay, so we're going to head over to our math book now. We're using this Eureka math book, grade one, module one. And here is our same application problem. We'll read it again and make sure that we note our key information. So, Dora found five leaves that blew in through the window. Okay, so here I have a number five. Okay, I'm going to circle that five because that is important information for us to remember. Then she found two more leaves that blew in. Okay, so she has two more. So I'll circle that. So we'll have to draw a picture and use numbers to show how many leaves Dora found in all. Okay, so this is something that we could do counting on our fingers. And we'll do that but then we'll also write it down. Okay, so if we have our fingers, so on each hand we have five fingers. So we can start with our one, two, three, four, five. So those are our five leaves there. And then two more blew in. So add one, two from the other hand. And if we count them all, we have five and two which we could count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So then Dora found seven leaves in all. Okay, so we can do that by drawing the picture and using our numbers to show how many leaves she found. Okay, so we'll need a math picture. Okay, we don't want to get too fancy because that'll just take up way too much time. But we can draw five, one, two, three, four, five. Those are the first five leaves. And then two more blue in, and two here. And then we could make that into an equation. So our math number sentence, by just adding a plus sign there, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we have our picture, we have our number sentence, we need to draw a number bond. Okay, so we are gonna have for our number bond, we'll have a box at the top and two boxes below. So this box at the top is the total. Okay, and, or sometimes they call that the whole. And then here is one part, and here is another part. So one part is our five, and our other part is two. And so you can just imagine that you're adding five plus two to get the whole or the total 
of 7. Okay, so then we need to write a sentence with words. Okay, so Dora found seven leaves in all. Okay, there we go. So we're going to move on to our problem set and we'll do a few problems in there. We're not going to do every single problem because you need to have some time to practice it on your own. Okay, so here our directions say circle five and then make a number bond. Okay, so you can see for the first one, they already circled the five. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll just darken that circle they made there. And we can see the extra we have down here. So they drew one part is five, which we circled. And then we have three on the bottom. So we'll put that as our other part. Then we need to put the total at the top. So five plus three would equal, you can count all of them if you're not sure. So we have five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we put our eight in the top because that is our whole or our total. Okay, so we'll go on to the next part. So in the second part here it says, Put nail polish on the number of fingernails shown from left to right. Then fill in the parts. Make the number of fingernails on one hand a part. Okay, so they drew little hands for us. And you can just get a color or you could just use your regular pencil. It doesn't have to be fancy. But I just happen to have some colored pencils here. So, um, now this is all up to you. There are so many different ways to make eight and many different ways to make six. So, since we're working with fives, let's just go with the five. We'll put some nail polish on all of these. Remember, they want us to start with the left. So remember, if you have your L that you can make with your hand, that's your left. So I started from left going to right. And so I have five. And I want to get up to eight. So I have five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we'll write our five here. And then we have one, two, three over here. So five plus three equals eight. Okay. So the point of this activity is making a five. So for your six, you should color in your five and then how many ever more it takes for you to get to six. And then remember to write them in your number bond. Okay, so here it says make a number bond that shows five as one part and they give you an example. So they have five dots here and they wrote five. They have one dot here and wrote the one. And then they turned this number bond sideways, but it still means the same thing. The two parts connecting to this one big hole or total. So five plus one will be six. Okay, so let's do one together. We'll just do number 10 here. Okay, so let's count. We have one, two, three, four, five. So we'll put a five in here. And we have one, two, three. Okay, and five plus three, like we did before, is eight. Or check it, five, six, seven, eight. And you put your eight in there for the total. Okay, so we're not going to do the exit ticket because that is something that your teacher might want you to show her or him that 
you know how to do this without any extra help. You could do it all on your own. Okay, so I hope this has helped you and you can go back and play it again if you're having any difficulty. Thank you.